Nice, in the tail. Oh, you swim him out. snapper what you're trying to do. On a live bluefish! So when it's rough like this, you gotta improvise. There's no mullet around in casting distance, so Jameson caught a bluefish on the popper. Put a circle hook in its booty and send him out there and I'm, ho I'm hooked up now. Probably gonna be a black tip. And the nice thing about fishing circle hooks during the mullet run is even if you do hook a black tip, you should generally don't get cut off with those circle hooks as long as you don't let them eat too long, but it could also be a big jack. Probably not a tarpon because tarpon usually tend to jump within the first, like that first run you hook them, they almost always jump. Look at that. On a live bluefish. On mono. Uh, it was instant. It was like as soon as it got passed out there, it got instant. Yeah. I mean, it could be a jack. Jameson caught like a five pound jack. It was, dude, it was a bluefish like this big. It was tiny. The bluefish was small. Jack could have eaten it. He's way out there now, so now it's just a matter of time for something to find him. And I think I got eaten off. And he got off. Yep, ripped the bait off the hook. Oh no, just got chased. What the? So I caught a bluefish on the bluefish, I swear. Not a bluefish on the bluefish I swim out, so let's swim this bluefish out now and see what happens. A 
I'm trying to do right now is make sure I have enough tension in my line so that way my slack isn't getting washed up by the surf. And when they feel that tension, they want to swim out. If you have no tension in your line and it's completely slack, they're not going to move around. You want to give them some tension because when they feel it, especially when you hook them in that rear end, they swim out away from you, just like he's doing now. The Saragossa lives, by the way. Everyone was asking how it's doing. It's doing just fine. You can see it's alive. Oh, the bluefish is getting out there. He's getting real far now. So I was reeling in that bluefish that I caught on the bluefish that I swam out. Two bluefish, one hook, and I got cut off above my leader somewhere in my main line. Probably a black tip ate me. When you have no choice but to clean your sunglasses with your friend's carrot socks. Alright, what is going on guys? Victor here checking in and today is October 10th. I just got done fishing with Jameson and Mike. Focus for me baby, focus, there you go. So I just got done fishing with Jameson and Mike. I'm getting off the exit to get to my house now. And we had a pretty good day. We caught, no joke, probably 300 bluefish between the three of us. It was insane. Jameson and Mike were throwing the popper all day long. And I was swimming out there bluefish. The first fish I caught, literally the first fish, it was pretty sick. I swam out a bluefish that Jameson gave me and I caught about a 25 pound jack and released it. Normally we'd keep something like that for shark bait, but given that we got there about two o'clock and we didn't leave the beach till six o'clock, I'm not gonna let it just soak in the sun for four hours. And you know, it feels good to release something once in a while. If you guys haven't fished the mullet run, it really is something you need to experience. Just, you could go there and just sit there and watch it for four hours and not catch anything and you honestly would not be bored. It is just, it's just sick. You see bluefish jumping out of the water, mullet just getting poured on, tarpon skyrocketing, black tips jumping. The mullet were so thick today and the bluefish were so aggressive that they were getting bum rushed onto the beach. I have video of that. I try to take some cool slow motion video for you guys of that. And the mullet, like, you'd be standing in the water and like, you know, knee deep water and you just feel thousands of mullet just rushing by you. And you're honestly thinking to yourself like, how have I not gotten bit by a bluefish by now? And another thing that I like is, you know, we were the only ones on the beach for about three hours and then towards the afternoon a bunch of people started coming, but it's the beach, you know, it's not overcrowded. You're not on a pier, you're not in an inlet or something. It's, you know, wide open space. You have quarter mile of stretch where there's just fish busting everywhere. So you're not getting tangled, you're not getting in arguments with people. It's pretty cool. But um, I think a lot of people shy away from doing the whole mullet run thing and walking the beach because it's work, you know. you We probably walk two to three miles back and forth, back and forth to your stuff, to the school. It's, it's not easy fishing and um, so a lot of you guys asked why don't we use cast nets. Well, in, it's such a dynamic fishery and environment where the mullet are moving down the beach and you're moving with them. So even if you cast net a bunch of mullet, and you put them in your bucket, you're not gonna carry your bucket around the whole time. And half the time, the mullet schools are so far off the beach where you need a snag rod to get them. So that's why we have that snag rod. It's fast, you only need one mullet at a time. And you know, it allows you an option to be able to get the mullet when they're out of casting distance with the cast net, for example. And I have noticed that with the cast net, like if it's a calmer day and the, the mullet are right on the beach, if you throw that net, watch and watch and see what happens you're gonna spook those fish you snag them it's a lot stealthier of an option 
if you guys watch to the end of this video, I want to say thank you. And if you like the video, make sure to like the video. If you guys have any questions, comment below. I'm a pretty nice guy. I go and I do read every single one of those comments. And if you guys see, I try to get back to every single one of you. And I'm pretty good about it, you know. It might be a week, but I answer almost every single question. I want to shout out Fishing Adventures with Gus, man. You are OG. You comment on almost every single video. Shout out to you. Take notes, guys. This guy comments on every single f video. Intrepid Fisherman, you too. You too, buddy. You comment on almost every single one. Thank you. I want to thank you too. So if you guys like the video, stay tuned. Got plenty more coming. And I'm going to be fishing the beach all week this week. So catch you in the next one.